already there. So while I'm in the head composition, I go down to the to the um, expression controls down here for the opacity of head A, and I go to the pick whip, and I take the pip pick whip and I go up here and I attach the pick whip to the checkbox and you can see over here it automatically writes an expression um, for um, that checkbox so all I do down here is I go down to the front of this expression and I just add um, x equals so what it ends up saying is x equals comp you know and and basically it says x equals and it points to the checkbox and then at the end of this expression I type a semicolon and hit enter to go to a new line now because I want now basically what this does is it means that X will equal if this checks checkbox is off X equals 0 if this checks box is on X equals 1 so I want the head to be visible you know and remember this is applied to opacity so I want it to be a hundred percent opaque when x equals 0 so my next um, my next statement will be um, 100 minus and put this in parentheses 100 times x and then close off the parentheses. So basically what this is saying, so first 100 times x, so if x is 0, that equals 0. And uh, But if x equals 1, that equals 100. So basically if the checkbox is unchecked, this part is going to be 0, and if it's checked, it's going to be 100. But because I want the reverse to be true, uh, the beginning of the formula is 100 minus, and then in parentheses, 100 times x. So basically, if the checkbox is unchecked, then it's going to subtract 0 from 100, leaving the head fully opaque. But if the checkbox is checked, then it's going to subtract 100 from 100, making the opacity 0, therefore making the head disappear. So I'm done with this expression here, and I just click anywhere outside of the box, and it's applied. So I'll go to head B, and hit T for opacity, and then Alt click on the stopwatch for an expression. Go down here to the pick whip, and go up to the, the checkbox, and um, then uh, at the beginning, the when you do the pick whip, it creates the uh, then add x equals at the beginning of this first line here, and then a semicolon at the end of it, and hit enter. And um, then what you want to do is uh, the next line is 100 times x. And basically that means that um, when, um, when the checkbox is unchecked, it's going to um, 100 times 0 is going to be 0, but when the checkbox is checked, it's going to be 100 times 1, which is 100. So, so basically it creates the reverse of the earlier expression, and then click anywhere outside of the box. And um, so basically what you have here is, you can see here's the checkbox, and now uh, all I need to do is just check it. You know, this is when, I, when I'm starting to actually do the animation. All I need to do is check that box, and it changes the head. 
So it make, it's a real easy control. You can see, you know, if you're working, and this sort of thing is nice when you're doing, you know, when it gets more complicated. You can see how with this hand, you know, I'm moving her around, she's reacting to things, I'm tilting her head back and forth, and it's just an easy control, and that way I can, um, I can go ahead and leave the head composition, go back to the main composition, and I have all my controls here. So I don't have to go, I don't have to dig through a bunch of embedded compositions while I'm animating. I can have total control over this puppet within the main composition, um, even though it's controlling, um, you know, expressions that are part of one of the embedded compositions. So, um, and, and that's the end of my... Um, tip, please uh, comment me if you have any questions. Also, um, I'd really appreciate it if you uh, um, have a chance to um, go and, and see the animated film that I'm uh, working on. It can be found at solomation.com. And I hope you have a good day. Thank you. Bye.